Holy shit, I just watched the first episode of Binan Koko Chikyu Boe Bu Love, and uh, it was it was pretty entertaining. Although, I don't know if I will watch any more of it. I might watch one or two more episodes to see how it goes. Basically, the premise of this show, which is really what makes it interesting at all, is that a, it's a magical boys show. It's five high school boys who who end up becoming would what would you would ordinarily consider magical girls. They look like and their powers are based on essentially pretty cure. It's it's like a giant send up of pre cure except it's five guys instead of a group of girls. That's the basic idea. It's a comedy show. It's from the same director who directed the first 100 episodes of Gintama, as well as the show Danchi Koko Se no Nichijo, or The Daily Life of High School Boys, which I'm a huge Gintama fan, wasn't that into Nichi Bros. He's done some other funny stuff here and there. Ultimately, he's not writing it or anything, so whether or not the humor works is not really up to him, but at the same time, you can tell that this is the same brand of humor that those shows had, especially Nichi Bros. It's very much in that type, that style of comedy. It's sort of like every character is the straight man to the weird things that are happening. So none of the characters are super the goofy one, except maybe the blonde kid. They're more commenting on what's going on and sort of making jokes about it. It comes from like this, it starts off with the, this explanation of Chikuwabu, which I guess is a part of Odin. And mind you, I think I probably would have found this funnier if I knew anything about Odin. I've never really eaten Japanese style Odin before, so I don't really know anything about it. So when they're going through this long detailed rant about Chikuabu, I could not relate to it, so I didn't really find it that funny. And the entire episode being ends up being like taking that metaphor and extending it to a person and then to the world. I appreciated what it was doing, and I had some giggles here and there, but overall, I didn't find it to be laugh out loud funny any of the time that I was watching it. It's also just not that well produced. I won't say it's hideously ugly or anything, but eh, it looks kind of... Most of it is just shots of characters standing around talking, and um, the color design is awful, I think. The only parts that were really great is the transformation sequences, which were fucking spot on. I loved it. All of their transformation sequences. Some it wasn't just that they were like that they were spot on parodies. They were legitimately great transformation sequences, better than a lot of the ones that are even in uh, shows like Precure. I thought that part was super entertaining. All of their special powers and stuff looked really great, but ultimately it was not enough to make me feel like yeah I'm excited for this show. One thing I will say though that I really really liked was the blonde kid's voice was incredible, and I'm sitting there I'm like this guy is so fucking adorable. And I was worried that I was going to find out it was a, a an actress, a female voice actress playing the character because he sounds so feminine. And I mentioned this before in my love stage video that I always find it sort of disingenuine when they have a character who's supposed to be like a guy who dresses like a girl or who, who acts or looks like a girl and it's voiced by a girl and you just feel like, okay, well, it's just a female character that they're telling you is a is a guy. This kid who sounds completely effeminate is played by a guy. And he's actually the same guy who played, um, he, tr he plays the transgendered character from Genshiken 2 as well. Which I have not seen yet, but I'm very interested to hear how he sounds in that. Because he sounds unbelievably feminine in this show. And I was like, awesome, it's actually a guy. That guy, his voice is fucking adorable. That's all I can say about that. Amazing. Other than that, though... I, th I thought it, it was alright. Like I said, I'll watch another episode because I want it to be awesome. I want to I want to be like, yeah, the show about the guy magical girls. Because it's such a hilarious concept. But ultimately, nothing grabbed me. And whether I watch more of it or not, I probably won't do any more videos on it. So that's my impression of that show with a long-ass title. See you next one.